Hi, I'm Jennifer McMahon, Chief Operating Officer here with the City of St. Pete Beach. First, I want to congratulate Brandon Berry, who was our employee of the quarter that was honored last Tuesday night at our City Commission meeting. We've headed into sea turtle season that started May 1st, so what that means is just leave your footprints behind, take everything that you brought to the beach back with you, fill in all the holes and knock any sandcastles that you have behind, and make sure you dim the lights if you live on the beach. Some upcoming meetings that you should note on your calendar, we've got a city commission meeting that is May 28th. We also have a District 3 town hall meeting that will be at the commission chambers next Wednesday, May 22nd at 5.30. And then we have a boat ramp town hall discussion here at the community center, 6 p.m. on May 29th. Some upcoming events we have in the city starting on Friday, May 24th, we have our annual walk to the beach. We will be doing this with the Fire and Recreation Department here in the city. For more information, please see our website and how to get involved. We also are hosting our annual Hurricane Expo that will be Saturday, June 1st, here at the Community Center from 10 to noon. We'll have several vendors that will be here um, to provide information to you. We will also have the Chief Meteorologist from Channel 8, Jeff Baradelli. So we're excited to host that for you. As a reminder, hurricane season starts June 1st, so if you have your re-entry tag, please keep it. You can reuse that for this hurricane season. If you don't, you're going to need that to get back on the island in case of an evacuation. You can receive the re-entry tags either at City Hall or at either of our fire stations. We also will be hosting our July 4th fireworks on July 4th. Um, they will be shot off on the east end of Cory. There will be watch parties on Cory Avenue as well as Haram Park, where we will be hosting a live band, um, food and drink for purchase, and the fireworks will be shot off at 9 o'clock that evening. More information on that can also be found on our website. As we also prepare for hurricane season, just know that we have sandbags available at Eakin Park throughout the year, all year round. Sandbags and sand are there, so as prep for the season, get those sandbags now and have them available at your house so you're not doing it the day before a storm is approaching. As we approach the summer, stay cool by coming to see us at our St. Pete Beach Aquatic Center located right next to the Community Center at 7701 Boca Ciega Drive. If you'd like to stay in the air conditioning, we have a plethora of programs both for children and adults at our St. Pete Beach Library located on the corner of Blind Pass and 73rd. Stay cool this summer. Lastly, we're excited to announce that our new city manager, Fran Robostelli, will be starting July 8th. I'm Jennifer McMahon, Chief Operating Officer with the City of St. Pete Beach. We'll see you around town.